Number seven, it wants the fifth root of this guy. Wow, okay. No big deal. That means it needs five to come out. So we have this big guy. Let's list him out. We should probably be able to see, hey, if you have 12 A's and you put them in groups of five, you're going to have two sets. But let's say we can't see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ten B's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six C's. Okay. It says you need five to come out. And again, you see there's 12 A's. I said there's going to be two groups because five goes into 12 two whole times. Notice that if I take these five and these five, two whole groups with how many left over? Two. But either way, those are A's are going to come out as one. So I have an A and another A. So A squared technically outside. You have 10 B's. So how many groups? If I bring five out each time, that's going to be two groups that come out. So each time they come out, so I'm going to have a B and a B. What about C's? We have six. If you group them in five, you can see one set's going to come out and one left behind. So here's what we have. AA, which is A squared, BB, which is B squared, then a C. Fifth root. Okay, who's left behind? AA, which is A squared. All the Bs went out because there were 10 of them, so two sets came out. And then a single C. And there's our answer. All right, cube root, eight. When we break eight down, at this point, we should be pretty used to seeing it as a two times two times two. A, 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 A takes three. Okay, it's a cube root to come out. So a two comes out. And the A's going out. That's all we have. So two A out here. Cube root, who's left behind? Just a single A on the inside. Number nine. Now, do we really want to write out 107 A's? No. Now, they come out in groups of 20. So how many groups of 20 are there in 107? Well, think of 100. If you had 100 A's, how many groups of 20 would there be? There'd be five. So I know on the outside there would have been five pulled out, right? How many would have been left behind? Well, of the 100, we pulled all 100 out, so there were seven of these left behind, okay? Because 107 divided by 20 means there's going to be five times I did a circle. If I had all these A's, I would have circled five times. So those would have come out. That's what I have right here. And then how many would have left behind? Well, since there was 107, I pulled five things of 20 out. That's 100 out. So there's seven left behind.